Yeah, what's poppin'? It's your boy Smrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
it's off my movements, like, you know what I'm saying? Off my sudden movements. You know, niggas get scared, like, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's one of them type of situations. Is that got nothing to do with I saw Campbell. I watched all the... Before you got here, I just watched all the shit that niggas was yeah, saying. Uh, hard all head, crazy, head, all hard head, making soft. No, not what Haas was saying. I'm right. watching because Haas is my man. I don't care right. what Haas is doing shit out of love. Mm. Haas is one nigga that you know. what I mean, my baby moms, yo, call Haas. Haas like, yo, whatever you need for bail, whatever, whatever the situation, however the situation turn out, I got you, my nigga. Right. I'm not all them commentators, my nigga. Like, fuck all that. Haas is my man, my nigga. Right. Haas is gonna be there. I can't call no other nigga like that and be like, I need this and that right. and that and the third and the nigga gonna be right there. Right. Besides a couple of niggas from my hood, but Haas is besides my hood, Haas is the only nigga, bro. Right. That I, that he's not gonna front on that bread, bro. Right. If I need it, right. you know what I'm saying. So everybody talking that crazy shit about Haas, that shit is a dud, my nigga. Haas is always there for me whenever I need a nigga for anything. Right. You know what I'm saying? As far as the as far as the the me, I wasn't even I wasn't detained at first. What happened is police so called found a gun. Right. Uh, like two blocks away from the hospital. Mm. That's what made the situation a little bit more tense. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's when the police was on me, whatever, whatever. I was already, I was already, they already did the surgery and all that on my leg. So you got shot in your leg? Yeah, I got shot like right, like right here. Wow. And the shit where I showed you at, right. the, the, in, the inter wound, you seen it. Right. And then it came out here. Wow. You know what I'm saying? The back of my leg. My nigga, but minus shit in wow. and out. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's no, not minus shit though to me, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, now I feel you, I feel you, bro, but I don't mean like, I, because if it, it could have hit an artery and it could, it, you know what I'm it saying? Almost, it almost did. That's what I'm saying. It almost and did. It, and, it, and, it, and it was bleeding for, it was bleeding for longer than it was supposed to. Right. That's why I was there longer, you know what wow. I'm saying? That's wow. why I was in there longer. I just got out yesterday, bro. Wow. You know what I'm saying? That shit happened last week. Wow. You know what I mean? Then I was going through what I was going through with the police investigation. They still got my shit. They still got my card. Still got the code. Still got all my phones. You know what I mean? I've been I've been calling you with my nephew phone. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So I don't even got a phone yet. I just talked to Hodge yesterday for the first time. Right. And then I started watching the YouTube and seeing what all these sucker niggas were saying. And, and shout out to the supporters because it was mad supporters too. Right. But for the people that's just making shit up and talking crazy, like it just goes to show you, it's just a, it's a learning lesson for me. You know what I'm saying? Damn. But you know, I'm I'm straight for now. You know what I mean? It is what it is. So you, so I'm listening. So you saying that like it was your fault how you moved? Like I mean, the shit didn't have nothing to do with highs. They have nothing to do with Bronx drill. They have nothing to do with music. Period. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say in the fashion of what I was doing, mm -hmm. but it got nothing to do with music, high song Campbell, or none of that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Period. Right. You know what I'm saying? So. Damn, that shit, that, that's it. And in all, rea in all of reality, like, I'm going to just leave it like this. I got shot because of myself. I, I might as well have shot myself. Wow. You feel me? It wasn't the, It wasn't what niggas think it is. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? It's, a, it's yeah. another nigga being scared to death. You know what I mean? Thinking that they they going to be the aggressor and then bumping into the wrong person. It's that type of situation. I'm going to leave that out. I'm going to leave that there. You know what I'm saying? Right. Based on the, on the ongoing investigation that's going on right now as we speak. I'm going to just say that for now. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Period. You know, I, when I first heard about you, right, shout, shout out to um, uh, Star and Buck Wild Star. Yeah, yeah, Star, Star. I talked to, talk to Star this morning, too. He, you know what I mean? Shout like, out to Star, man. Checking in on me. I, I heard, you know what I'm saying? And um, he's he, one of my favorite rappers of all time is Big Punk. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Rest in peace, Big Pun. Big Pun was a big peace. inspiration for me when I was young. When and I was then, a kid. right. And then you said that there was like a, um, you know what I mean, like that, uh, a moment where you know what I mean. He saw you and he got you kind of under the wing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How, how did that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, can you? That's like, that situation was. I met Pun in a McDonald's in downtown Manhattan. Wow. Right. He had a white, white Mercedes Benz mm -hmm. coupe. He was with another dude, you know what I mean? They uh, they came up in a, in a in a McDonald's and shit. And this was like, this was the, the when the freestyling ever was a big. You, you spit your verses for niggas and everybody was spitting. Right. So my man, you know, the nigga made me. He was like, yo, pun. Then, <laughs> yeah, I thought that nigga was lying. He like, yo, pun outside in the car, bro. Like, right. you better go spit for this nigga. Like, right. I'm like, nah, y'all niggas is fronting. So pun was already popping. Everybody knew who pun was. Yeah, pun was already popping. This is about. I want to say this is a little bit before he died because I didn't really have that much time with him. This is probably like, if he died in February, and I always remember because February is my birthday, you know what I mean? It's my birthday month. 
So if he died in February, this had to be about October. You feel me? Octoberish. And he was doing a lot of shit at them downtown club. It was like the Carbon, Copacabana was right. down there. Right. It was that time. So right. this, he was, um, he had pulled up. I guess they was coming from the club. This is late night. And um, my man like, yeah, pun in the car, whatever. So I went to the shit and I spit for the nigga. The nigga was, pun was like, yo, you fire. Right. Like straight up and down. I'm a kid, bro. Like, you feel right. me? He like, yo, you fire. Your shit is like cannabis. It was like when yeah, cannabis yeah, yeah, was like. Yeah, you said that. He like, yo, your shit is like cannabis, my nigga. I was gassed yeah. up. Did you fuck with cannabis at the time? Hell yeah, yeah. everybody fuck with cannabis. Right. If you was, if yeah, you, right. if you was, a, if you was of age to come up in that Clue Tape era, right. and and cannabis had the illest balls. My nigga, the freestyles niggas was waiting for the next Clue Tape for cannabis balls, right. bro. Yeah. At one time, not to take nothing away from Pun, because it was mad dope rappers. Right. But for that type of rap, like you know what I mean, cannabis was bringing that. That shit, bro. That metaphorical crazy shit. These kids don't even know what cannabis is. Nah, they don't, but they wasn't born yet. I, I know, but like, you gotta understand, like, a lot of these kids was born like 2000, right. 2001. Right. You know what I'm saying? So they not they they not there, bro. They not in that time bracket. So I don't, I don't fault the young niggas for what they know and don't know. You know what I'm saying? But going back to that time, he heard me. He was like, "Yo, come to the carbon," because yeah, he wanted he wanted to put me on stage. So I went to the carbon, whatever. But the only thing with the carbon is I, I told them, you know, you tell niggas in your hood, whatever, whatever, everybody from the whole fucking block wanted to go, bro. Right. So I'm not going to tell niggas no. So I, I took niggas to the carbon with me thinking like we was going to mob out. That nigga Cuban Link shut that shit down. Right. Nigga Cuban came to the door, Cuban like, yo. Are you like, still good with Cuban right now? Um, me, and, me and Cuban is all right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Me and Cuban is all right. But the only thing with Cuban is like, I felt like, Cuba never really validated my story. And I feel like niggas, right. like niggas feel like that I'm capping, my nigga. Right. You understand what I'm right, saying? Right. I, feel like, I feel like Cuba should have stepped up, but whatever, whatever. Right. He got his shit with Joe and they going through with whatever they going through, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, I'm, I'm saying that if niggas believe me, they believe me. If they don't, my hood, my hood was there. They know. Right. So they know I ain't capping. I don't care about the internet and all these niggas. I'm a real nigga, bro. I, right. I don't go off of what these niggas is talking about. Right. So, you know, the nigga Cuban got niggas in, whatever. The nigga pun wife was there, Eliza was there. You know yeah, what I'm saying? She had the she shout out to Eliza. Yeah. Shout out to her son and shout out to her Yo, daughter her too. Son is nice. You know what I mean? Cause her son is nice. I've never met him, but his shit is fire. You know what I mean? Right. And he not on that bullshit rap. So right. that's why I really fuck with it. Right. But Eliza was there, big Cuban on her neck. Uh pun, big Cuban on his neck. Bracelet, Jews crazy. Right. You know what I'm saying? The nigga pun like, yo, his man Sunkiss. Sunkiss. Right. If niggas, if niggas bump into Sunkiss, I don't know. I don't know. Sun kiss, I don't know sun kiss will let niggas be, let it be known, cause that's the nigga I battle. Right. You oh, feel me? Shit. So pun like, yo, go in there with Sunkiss. Y'all niggas go, go in the bathroom and let him hear what you got, right. cause he, he was the nigga. Like, right. I guess he was the next nigga. The like, bro, so you, you know right. what I mean? Yeah. And now I felt like he was the next nigga to come out. Because exactly. Remy, Remy wasn't there yet. Oh, oh shit. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that Remy wasn't fucking with Pun, but right. she wasn't she, in that yeah, club yeah. that right, day. Right. Okay, got All it. these other niggas was there. Prospect, um, right. um, what's the other Tony thing? Sunshine? Nah, Tony wasn't there. It was Prospect and the uh, Triple Six. Triple Six. They was there that day, you know right. what I mean? Uh, Cuban was there. I didn't see Remy, so I, I, go, in the, I go in the bathroom with, with Sunkiss. We spitting, we got the whole bathroom lit up, bro. Right. He's spitting, I'm spitting, we going back and forth, going back and forth. Right. So I guess when we came out, the nigga, he gave Pun the, the, the signal, whatever. Uh -huh. The nigga Pun puts me right on the stage, bro, the freestyle. I'm mad, bro, that there's no footage from back in the days, bro. This this shit, I'm mad that it's, because it, the carbon got burnt down, bro. Wow. That club ended up burning down, so that was the first time that I really got on the stage, bro. You know what I'm saying? The first time I got on the stage, Pun put me on the stage, bro. That's no cap word to my dad. That's fine. You know I me? Mean? Fine. That's super hard. That, that shit is fine, bro. No cap, my nigga. And if you ever bump in the Cuban, you ever bump in the, the to, um, Sun Kiss, they'll let you know, my nigga. It's no cap, my nigga. My name is, my name is Jay Vaughn. Pun named me Jay Vaughn the Dawn, my nigga. That's what they was calling me. Right. Before G and kind of before five, bro. Wow, man. Yo, that's the story with that. But shit. then, you know, since we talking about pun, you know, like I said, I love pun yeah. so much. Like, I, I, you know, I ain't no motherfucking, like, you know, but like, these are, this is from the soul, so this is what I really want to know. Yeah. What, what do you think about that situation with like pun and the pun's wife and like Fat Joe and. The, see the thing with the see the thing with me is that <coughs> do you think I, like they're wrong or they're like listen I or, I'm or, I already have a, a bias and a, and a racism towards the industry because of shady business and 
you know, so many people losing their lives, and I just feel like, right, I just, I just feel like the industry, they don't give a fuck about the people, and this is the shit that I'm trying to create with Hives. I'm trying to create a situation where, and this is why I fucked with the young niggas in my hood, KK Flock and all of them, because right. I want to, I, I, these niggas need to have people that care about them around them. Right. But what happens is when right. they, when they start fucking with the labels, the labels show these niggas all this shit. All of this, you know, did you see, did you see Roddy Rebel's uh, Instagram yesterday? We're going to get to all of that. We're going we gonna to get to all of that because he's not the first one. Meek Mill just did it yeah, a yeah, month yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. So going back to what you said about that, the Fat Joe shit is that Fat Joe's an industry nigga, homie. He, he was a street nigga, but then he eventually turned into an industry nigga. He learned the tricks and the trade of the industry. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that, my nigga. Business. It's business. It's all business. business bro. All business. If you learn it and you learn how to maneuver, whatever, whatever, that's what you do. Not knocking nobody. Me, I I, I, didn't, I didn't never want to fuck with deals, bro. Every time nigga offered me a deal, I turned it down. Wow. You understand what I'm saying? Because I knew, first of all, I'm a nigga that I know how to get money anyway without that shit. You know what I'm saying? And then... I grew up around so many rappers, so around so many drug dealers, and a lot of the rappers, I would see them in videos looking one way, and then when I see them on the streets, they look different. And that what shit, do you mean look different? They right? just they didn't look how they looked in the videos. Wow. So that shit used to be throwing me off. That shit used to fuck me up because I'm an observing person, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I go, I go with my gut, my nigga. I don't, mm -hmm. You can't buy me. Mm -hmm. You can't. I'm not one of those niggas, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? So... I used to see, I used to see certain rappers. I ain't gonna put their name out there. Right. I see the videos, niggas be blanked up. Then you see niggas in the hood looking dusty. You know what I mean? Looking like fiends. You know what I mean? When niggas had deals. Wow. So that shit always threw me off, bro. So with, right. as far as the pun shit, the pun shit was, I don't know about pun's deal. I know that whatever pun was doing at the time when he was alive, when I met him, he was eating. Right. So I don't got no gripes with Fat Joe over that. I don't know what happened after pun died. I don't have the information. So I can't give an opinion on whether Fat Joe's right or wrong. I don't know if he gave Pun wife money. They ran through the money and they right. wanted more money. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't. I can't fault Fat Joe on that. Right. You know what I'm saying? I know that Fat Joe's still running around good. Right. So whatever he did for himself, and he didn't. He wasn't another nigga that really sold records like that. Pun probably sold more records than him. Wow. You understand what I'm saying? Like Pun went platinum. But he got Joe hits, never went though. platinum. But Joe got hits though. Yeah, Joe got hits. But like, what I'm saying is that. The hits pun, count though. Pun, no, no, nah, hits count. Yeah. But Pun was selling records, bro. Right. Like it's a difference. Right. right. You he know was, what I mean? He was. You he understand was. what I'm saying? I bought all his records. And so, and not to take away nothing from Joe, right. but just to say that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Pun was good mm -hmm. when I seen him. But when I seen him, he was good. Right. Big, that's the first time I even seen the big giant Cuban link like wow. that. It was on Pun Neck. His wow. wife had one. Wow. Eliza had one too. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I'm I'm leaving that there. Right. Not saying Joe's right or wrong. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what happened. I ended up going to jail. I did a lot of time in prison. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? After the, the the pun situation and all that, like mm -hmm. pun dying, that shit was a downfall in my life because I lost faith. You know what I'm saying? I felt like you know my life was just a, a, a black cloud, bro. Right. You know what I mean? I lost a lot of family members in my life. A lot of people that I loved at an early age. So that punch shit, that was like a way out for me. So when that happened, I was just like, fuck everything. Fuck rap. Yeah, fuck rap, fuck everything. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then you said that, you know, then like, then I guess you went to prison. And yeah. And then it's like, what, you was heavy on that blood shit? Heavy on the blood shit. That, that became my new, <coughs> you know what I'm saying? <coughs> that became the that, that next driving force for me in life, right, gangbanger. Right. Wait, so like... What do you think about it now and then? You know what I mean? Like, is what, it, as far as gangbanging? Yeah. It's over. What do you mean? It's oh, gangbanging. What does that Like, because everybody can't hang it right now. Nah, all but the kids. everybody's... See, the difference between... <clears throat> not, there wasn't all... Like, I, I, like back... Like, oh, for, I don't know. Like, Listen, you know the difference between gangbanging now yeah. and gangbanging then is that what? at that time, bro, yeah. it was a cause, bro. Like, niggas... It, it wasn't even gangbanging. It was riding against oppression. You know what I'm saying? Because the oppressors were. Yeah, but in, in, but in jail, you know, you know, at the same time, there, there's a lot of real bloods too, like who take care. No, no, care, no, no, no. I'm not. They, I'm not talking about. Listen, I'm not knocking what nobody doing. I'm saying as far as the cause, bro. Yeah, it's real gangbangers and niggas. The niggas on jail are the realest niggas with this shit. Yeah, but they're extorting. They, you know what I'm saying? Doing a lot of. Bad this is what I'm trying to them. tell you, bro. After it was no more cause, that it was over. Like, what's the what's the point, bro? If we if we a gang, right? And we're not building nothing. We don't have no companies. We're not doing... It's no more oppression to ride against. What happens? You start riding against each other, and that's what we did. That was the beginning of the end of it. 
this this set versus this set. Not even Crips against Bloods no more. It became blood on most of this shit was blood on blood shit. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? So that's what I mean by this shit is over. Yeah, niggas are out here still claiming and do, but what's what's the cause? What is the cause? Like, what's the cause now? Just to be blood? Just to just to claim something? To stand behind something? To have a red rag? You understand what I'm saying? There's no cause, bro. Back then, the cause was to ride over the oppression that was on niggas. The Spanish gang was oppressing niggas. Mm -hmm. I wasn't in jail for that because I was too young, but I was facing it on the streets. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because I was born in Spanish Harlem, bro, and then that shit was Latin King Doubt. Right. You feel me? And I used to mess with a lot of Puerto Rican girls, bro, and I used to get into fights all the time behind these broads, bro, with these Latin King niggas, my nigga. So I felt that oppression even though I wasn't in there. He trying to he trying to pass her. Even though I wasn't in there with the with the big homies of the first generation, mm -hmm. I still felt it. That was the, I felt that oppression. Mm -hmm. So after that, it was like, what are, what is niggas still banging for? Now it becomes a fashion. It becomes fashion. It becomes just you know what I'm saying tyrannical. After that, you know what I mean. So that's that's what I mean by it's over. It's no, it's no cause. Yeah, niggas gonna always be banging and. But what's the cause, bro? So that that's what you see it? It's like there's no cause now? That's how you see it now? Nah, it's definitely no cause. What's the cause? What, what's the cause that you see? Like I said, I'm not, I don't game it, but I just see it like, I don't know, it's like, they got, like you said, it's like blood on blood. Like, <laughs> like it's just, it's, it's, it's crazy. But, and now it's like, after the pandemic got worse, like everybody, you know what I'm saying? Bro, niggas are on the internet talking about each other. It's just, it's just bad, bro. I don't even want to even go there right now. Like, mm -hmm. you feel me? But that's how I feel about it. Like, I, I was doing it for a long time. After it was no calls no more, bro, I fell back. After I realized that I can't build with niggas, because the only reason why I stayed as long as I did for the young niggas. Now, the young niggas, they got to go through they... I don't got no... I don't got no crawls with the young niggas with the banging and up because they doing something with it. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> Shout out to all the trends. <coughs> Shout out to all the movers. Shout out to everybody with the Bronx Drill Movement. They At least they built something. They created something with the things that they doing. Everything is not good about what they doing, but they fucking created something. They got... There's something they could say that they made out of all of the banging that they doing. Mm -hmm. And that's my thing. If you're gonna If you're gonna bang, bro... Bang for something. Go get some money. Go do something. Don't just be... Niggas just be out here just wanting to be blood and want to be crips and cutting niggas and putting false lies on niggas and all. Go go make something happen. If you make something happen, I'm with you. I don't care whether you're a gangbanger or not. No, and... All right, so then... So right now, for me, the drill rap is like the illest shit. Like, for me. It like, is. It is. Like, but like I said, I don't condone, but there's a lot of killing, right? A lot of killing. I, when I listen to the music, I get hype. I can, listen, I can go to the gym... I, it, it, it's like, oh, like the bars hit, like you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. not much bars, it's like, like straight to the straight to the point. Yeah. And to me, it's like it's fire to me. Like I, when I listen and get high, it's fire. And That's you're and you're not a gangbanger, right? No. So this is the thing that I be trying to say to people when no. they ridicule me for supporting Bronx Drill and trying to help the young niggas. They saying, yo, you you, you how you you know what I mean? Because listen, you don't got nothing to do with the violence, right? Mm -hmm. I don't I don't got nothing to do with the violence either. Mm -hmm. I'm headed over. <laughs> I don't really fuck with the weed like that, but I'll take a little hit here and there. Yeah. It's the same thing, because you don't you don't have nothing to do with gang, but you like the music. The music is fire. Even Ha says it. Ha says I like the music. <coughs> Listen. The music is fire. When has when, when has violence not been attached to hip hop music, period, bro? Yeah, but it, it's like on the spotlight though, like the drill shit right now. Do your A like I felt like the it, it went from Chicago and New York, you know what I mean? The New York took it and then just made it to a whole different, you know? That's what New York does, like, you know what I mean? We set the trend, like, you know what I mean? And then... We, did, we didn't set that trend, though. Right. We, I'm not going to let us take responsibility for... But the music is... The music is it's, fire. It's a whole different level. Than you know Chicago. why? I didn't like Chicago music. Like I didn't that. like it either. But this New York shit? You want to know why Bronx Real music is hot? But it's like Brooklyn too. Bro. No, Brooklyn too. It, to me, it's like, that's where they just started, and it's fire to me. I'm like, oh, but you know why? why you know why Bronx drill music is hot, bro? And it it stands out from Brooklyn. Why? why? Nothing taken away from Brooklyn. Right, 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 right. I want to hear. It you. stands out from Brooklyn because why? the young niggas that do drill in the Bronx is they, they, It's a New York flow. It's a New York style. Right. It's not a Chicago flow. Right, right, right. The beats are not even Chicago's. The right. culture is Chicago's. Right. You understand what I'm right. saying? It's the same thing as equivalent to me and your era when you had the West Coast death row. Right. And you can't tell me that niggas from New York wasn't out here on some on some West Coast shit. 
Not everybody. A lot of niggas was fucking with Big, but a lot of niggas was fucking with Pac and that death row shit. Right. The same thing when, when Master P came out. And niggas was on that No Limit Soldier shit. Niggas was out here on some No Limit Soldier shit for a but, little minute too. Yeah, but yeah. We all, yo, bro, we all adopt each other's shit. It's our culture, bro. Mm. You, can't, you can't say a nigga stole this. We all, that's the problem with us. We conquer and divide. Conquer and divide. Constantly conquer and divide. And <coughs> when we all one thing and we need to just recognize it. Shout out to the West Coast. The West Coast bringing their culture was a dope, it, it was, it, it's a dope implementation. You know what I'm saying? What Puffy did, shiny suits. It was a dope implementation. What Master P contributed was a dope implementation. Bronx drill, whatever. It, it's people want things to stay the same, bro. I be looking at my comments, niggas be like, "Yo, you too old to be rapping like that." How the fuck you want me to rap? You want me to rap like it's 2005? I'm a connoisseur of music. I follow the trends, bro. And I stay in tune with what's going on. And I be in the forefront of everything. And then you said that you started the Bronx Drill Rap. No, no, no. I didn't start Bronx Drill Rap. Then I don't, don't want to say that. that. I, I said that I was the first nigga in the Bronx doing drill songs that wasn't from Brooklyn. 2018, 2019. Uh -huh. me, me and Ruan Cross did motherfucking Night. See, Nitro Part 2 is what's out now. We did Nitro Part 1 in 2019. <coughs> Diesel Music Studios in White Plains. J.D. Kiss Engineer. He engineered our first Bronx drill song. This is 2019, bro. When KK and them came out last year, right? 2020, be loving all of them. Right. All right. But that, the Bronx drill been. I mean, the drill been out though. Drill been out, but Brooklyn. Right. You but then me? you know. Listen, listen. I'm gonna put you on game. I'm not saying. I'm not. Their culture is the young nigga culture. That's not my culture. Mm. The culture is their culture. Mm. And I wasn't even doing the drill music that they doing. Me and me and Ron Cross was doing political drill. Mm. But we was the, we was the niggas in the Bronx doing those records, bro, with those beats. It just was political. It wasn't smoking the ops. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? It was some shit. It was political drill. Ron Cross really made that shit up. He bought it to me. He was like, yo, bro, this shit right here that the Brooklyn niggas be doing, but we're gonna we're gonna do it in the Bronx. Right. And we're gonna do political shit, cause nigga, we too old for that to be talking like that. Right. So I was like, yeah, nigga, I'm with it. You know, I talk my shit. I'm not the most political dude, but I could talk it from a street standpoint. Right. You know what I mean? So I said, yo, let's put it together. Our first shit was Nitra, part one. When you go, if you go to my distro kitchen and you go go to my Apple or Spotify, anything, go to the to the um unbothered mixtape. Motherfucking, which one call it is on there? Nitro One, my nigga. We recorded that. We recorded that shit February 2019, bro. Right. You feel me? And I and not taking nothing away from the young niggas, cause like I said, they created that culture. They created the Bronx drill. I'm just saying, we was doing it, me and Ron Cross. Maybe other niggas was doing it. You know what I'm saying? Niggas was just on the low with it. But the only other famous person that was doing it was Ron Suno. I gotta give him that. Right. You feel me? He was the first nigga to do a, a like known, cause they had record deals. We was in the street. Ron Suno and Fabi did the Spider-Man joint. Mm. That wasn't even really drill to me, but Ron Suno was like, he did like one or two drill joints. Like he was the first nigga. I, I give it to him. That's probably why he was trying to say he was the king of drill, but it was he was saying the wrong thing. Like he was supposed to be like, yo, I, I really like started this shit. Like, but he didn't start that culture either. Cause he was just doing like he was doing what we was doing. Right. He was doing his version of that. But they would be love. KK and all them niggas that came out in 2020, that's the actual Bronx drill culture. You know what I mean? And so, so, you know, I see you with K Fog a lot too. Yeah, not a lot. Not a lot. Right. That was a, a lot of the pictures and stuff yeah, that we right. did was from when we was coming up. Right, right. You know right, what right. I mean? When, when they was building and shit, shooting. You from around there? Shooting. Yeah, I'm from my 83rd and Prospect. Right. You feel no, me? No, that's dope. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm and, from the gates, homie. Like, no, but K Fog is definitely and B Love. It's like my favorite, like one of my favorite. Definitely, like, definitely. Dougie, Dougie's crazy too. Right. And I have been asking all K Flock all, too all, to all, get. All of them to me is hot, bro. That's why I fuck with them because them little niggas was like a little Wu Tang, bro. Right. That's why I be mad when they be beefing. Like when they started, when they they got Shy K, whatever happened with them little niggas with him, I like this son. You know what I mean? Right. That fucked me up. You know what I'm saying? Then I thought I thought niggas like, you know, because I be hearing shit, but I don't understand them niggas lingo all the way like that, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's just the things that I pick up, but I was just noticing that certain niggas wasn't around no more, and I'm like, damn, right. y'all niggas are doing everything that I didn't want y'all to do, bro. Y'all the strongest together. Now niggas is all split up. You feel me? And it makes it weird to me because I'm the old nigga. I'm not really in tune with them like that. Right. But when I come around, now I got to move a certain way because one of them is going to feel a certain way about me. You know what I'm saying? Right. You find yourself in the... Because I'm the, I'm the fucking... I'm the fucking minority in the situation <laughs> right. because I'm different than all of them. Right. You know what I'm saying? My problems is different than they problems. 
So it's like, it, it's, it's, it's weird. It's a weird thing. So when I start feeling weird, bro, I just got to just let everybody just do what they do. You know what I mean? Because I don't want nobody thinking that I like the other one better than the other one. And this, that, and third. Situations I don't be knowing about that happen. You know what I'm saying? They, they more out there than me, homie. I got a family. I, I got to hustle, my nigga. Right. I be selling cars. I be doing all types of shit. Right. Apartment, renting apartments out in New England. I got mad shit going on. I got mad different things that I'm, I'm doing to get money. Cause I gotta, I gotta pay bills. I don't got, I don't got time for really rap dreams. I fuck with it, you know what I'm saying? Me and Haas, Haas help me out, and we do oh. shit that we could do. We grind, but right. at the end of the day, like you know that I don't make money off. I don't make money off the young niggas either. Right. You know but what I mean? You're not, you're not supposed to. I feel like you know? I, I didn't, I didn't do it for that. Right. That's what I keep saying. Like I'm not in it for that. I, I was in it to help to make sure they win. So a nigga can never say, well, damn, my nigga, you got all them niggas in your hood. Why they not nowhere? What, why? What you doing for them? But they, they, they. they. Exactly. Going, yeah, exactly, bro. And that's what it's really up. That's what it's all about. That's right. what it was about. That's the mission. So when niggas asking questions and this, that, and the third, you gotta look at the outcome. People is always making assessments from the bleachers. Who's on the court playing? I'm on I only listen to niggas that's on the court playing with me. Got it. But you know, everybody everybody. What the fuck opinions. is a nigga on the bleachers can tell a nigga on, on the court? Got right. But every What can the fan tell the players though? Like I made it to the NBA. Right. You from our niggas, where you at? Yeah. NC, you where you? You are Ohio. So you, you, outside looking in. There's a lot of people outside looking in. Listen, I don't knock nobody's opinion, but what I'm saying is when you start talking down on people and you start, you know, that you can have your opinion, bro, but don't mm. down. I'm not going to down somebody else not knowing their situation. When I say something, bro, it's real shit. You feel me? Or I'm not going to say it. People, my beast, be, my beast be because I tell the truth. You feel me? My yeah. beats are not for me sliming nobody or taking nothing <clears throat> from nobody or even trying to hurt niggas. Whether I do violence or not, that's not what I'm here for. People got they got they shit with them, mm. and I'm just moving accordingly. Mm. But I'm a builder, homie. I'm mm. about this music. I'm about building, mm. making sure niggas do great. I don't. I'm not the nigga that want a nigga to, to be doing bad. Right. Even my enemies, I want them to come up with me too, so that when we beef, it's worthy. You understand what I'm saying? Right. I don't want to be, be you down. Hey, I'm up here. It don't, it don't make a difference no more. It's not the same. We don't think on the same frame, Brody. Like, you know, and there was this one big thing about your controversy kind of like. Yeah. What uh, you and all um, Freaky. Freaky Zeke. It, that, I don't even want to keep talking about that because that's a situation that's so old right. and it's so like, you know, but I, I just got to put my two cents in, in a yeah. little bit. Like, everybody's like, yo, I think Freaky Ziggy ratted or like, yo, he, I I feel like, yo, how could he kind of like, outside looking in again, yeah just outside looking in, um how could that person be a rat if he just said, yo, it's the guy, I, I, it was just a green jacket, I didn't, you know, I don't know. Like, and he, yeah. Outside looking in again, it's like, yo, like, you know, I didn't tell, like, you know what I mean? Like, if I didn't say anything, I'll probably get arrested. Listen, so I have to make it at least kind of believable. Yeah. Listen, my thing is this, bro. Mm. Me just fresh, freshly getting out of a situation. Again, right, right. I'm speaking from the now, court. Now I see what you're saying, too. Like, freshly coming out of the situation. I'm coming from the court. My opinion's about to come from there, not the, not the bleachers. Mm. When I say this, mm. bro, I understand like the the standard procedure of detectives. I've been in plenty of situations again recently, so I'm gonna say this, bro. Like, you really not supposed to be saying nothing, my nigga. But let's just give it the let's just give it the for the sake of all right. When you there is different. Yeah. If you could, you could probably get yourself out if you say certain things, right? I'd even get yourself out. It's like, or, yo, or, like, I'm not getting myself out of anything. It's like, yo, like, it's a guy with green jacket. I don't know. Listen, I understand it. And they see it in the camera. Like, I, listen, I, I understand it, bro. You're not going to. So I'm not lying. Like, you're kind not, of. My like, thing is like, time, my, like, my thing is like, you're not going to give up no, no extra information than you need to. Mm -hmm. Can we agree on that? Mm -hmm. Like, you wouldn't. Mm -hmm. Like, if you were in a situation, if you don't have to give something up, you're not going to give it up, right? It makes sense. If you had to give it up, would you... you Like, if niggas got you right there and you're, you just look stupid for saying anything else, and then you say that, it's different. Mm. 
So I understand what you're saying too. Mm. But I'm not gonna get into all that. The streets mm. is the streets. Mm. There's rules there, and if you go over a certain thing, people on the streets are gonna look at you a certain way, no matter what it is. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? So I don't have nothing against Freaky Zeke. Shout out to Freaky Zeke. That shit, that shit happened like 30 years ago, bro. That right. shit really happened a long time ago. Right. The only reason why it keeps coming up because I answer the questions, but I'm not on. Shout out to Freaky Zeke, my nigga. We, we somewhere else now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? My focuses are on different things. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm not really, I'm not on that no more. It's a part of my history. That's why I'll, I'll touch on it because mm -hmm. it's something that's real. Right. You know what I mean? I'm not going to try to go around questions. I'm going to tell you, but I'm not on that, bro. You feel me? Like, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on what these young niggas is doing, trying to make sure that they don't make the same mistakes, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? As people before them, just because I know them, I owe it to them to even at least try. If they not jacking me, they not jacking me. But I did what I could do, though. Right. You feel me? Right. But that's our response. That's our only responsibilities as as bigger homies and to make to make sure niggas do the right thing, bro. You mm -hmm. don't gotta try to do all of this extra. You know what I mean? Hercules shit. Hercules shit. Just make sure niggas do right. Give niggas a good word. We're not. I'm not putting responsibility of other people on other men. That's not my thing, homie. I live in reality. These niggas are living off of social media, uh, account, who they are, who they think they are. Like, there's so many different variables. When you think for yourself, you got to think for other people to survive out here. Because niggas want to have a problem with you. Because it's views. You understand what I'm saying? So you got every other third, fourth nigga trying to create a situation. I'm telling you, like, I live these situations. Mm. I'm trying to get away from it. Mm. You know, but it is it is me. So it's like I got to get away from myself. You feel me? These niggas are creating situations. Yeah. So this you got a, you got a whole bunch of masses of, of that mass, mass generating, manufactured beef, mass generating, manufactured beef. That's why you get in that bubble like it is just bursting right now. Two kids shot there, two kids shot there, shot mm. there, kids shot over here, mm. boom, and the police running all around because mm. of that. That's that bubble of the, that mentality. That's why when I talk about truth, bro, mm. I feel like even if you say something about me, that's not to my better interest. Mm. If it's the truth, bro, mm -hmm. it's the truth. Mm. Whether I'm mad at you, whether I'm like, now my next thing is there, but why would he want to do it to me? Do you hate me that bad or is it truth? But at the end of the day, it's like, if it's the truth about me, I got to wear that. I got to take that L. You know what I'm saying? But I also get the aspect of keep the lie lying. If you could if you could keep pushing it and it works for you, that's what you do. Right. I don't knock that either. Right. I'm just saying, let's keep it real all the way. Because at least when it's real, we know where we stand. Right. You don't got all the interference, all the middle shit. You know what I mean? Just go straight to the point. But some people don't can't do that too, like... You know, to hurt the next man feeling, or you know what I'm saying? To you gonna to be do it, you're gonna do it anyway. You feel me? Like you're gonna do it anyway. The disrespect is already done once you do it, whether the person even knows or not. It's all in you, bro. It's not about the next nigga. Mm. It's what you willing to do. Mm. How far you willing to go? How much dirt you willing to get your hands into mm. to get it? That shit is not a right or wrong thing, bro. It's, it's, it's personal. You know what I'm saying? It's to each his own. That's why I don't get into it. Mm. It comes to me, my nigga. I'm doing mathematics. I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I don't feel no type of way about nothing or nobody. Mm. Feel me? It's just life is going. You know what I mean? You want to you wanna do an interview. I want to give you an interview. I fuck with your platform. My, my platform coming up. I see yours coming up. Mm -hmm. It's mathematics, homie. Like, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It doesn't, it's no extra shit to this shit. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not trying to like, yo, I'm going to get sold down with me. Mm -hmm. I'm not making a big plan. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, my mm -hmm. nigga, like, he's showing love. I'm going to show love back. Hopefully, we both get to where we need to go. Period. Right. That's where it stops. Niggas want to create clout chasing campaigns, movements, and Make shit like it's not and build up a story and it's they're too saying, much of the fake shit. They're saying that I'm a culture vulture and I'm like, and I see that. And I'm just like, yo, you know, like what I what I say to that is like, yo, I, I was born in Korea and I came here when I was three. And when I started listening to music, this is what I grew up on. And I'm around not only Asian people, but Hispanics, blacks, exactly. Indians, and all types of, you know what I'm saying? That's a fact. And you know what I mean? And, and you right. just, you just, you just are the minority and the culture. Right. This is what I'm telling you about me with being with the young boys, with KK and them. Got I'm it. you right. with the hip hop shit. You feel me? Right. Because society says 
like you're a culture vulture, society says that I'm too old to be with young niggas like that. Right. But in the same breath, they'll say, where are the fathers at? Where the uncles at? Where the big homies? Where's the, you feel me? Right. Because it doesn't matter. I'm just one person, bro. Right. If, if more people was to focus on themselves, is what I'm saying, to, to make the whole point of this shit, right. you focus on yourself right. and being the best you, everybody do that, we'll have this, you'll fix everything. Mm. Niggas are focused on each other, bro. What each other got? What each other doing? What you doing? You a culture vulture. He gay. This one, that one. That one infused mm. because it takes away from the creativity. Niggas putting all that, they got to compensate for the lack of creativity. That's how I see it. Mm. Is music in a better place or a worse place off? It depends how you look at it. You know what I'm saying? It's different variables, bro. Right. So I'm a minority in this. Right. I'm not supposed to be there. Right. You're too old for that. Right. It's true, too. It is true because it's not a lot of niggas like me doing that. Right. But it's just things are not going to always be. You're going to get those culture vulture moments. That's how you know you're doing what you're supposed to do, bro. That's just the facts. When they're not saying something about you is when you you got it. Right. <laughs> you feel me? Like even the, even the negative is good, homie. Right. I'm, t I'm taking it all, pause. It's all learning experience, but it's real shit that's happening. Mm -hmm. And that's what I respect about it, it's real shit in real time. I, I respect the realness. Niggas are looking for extra shit. They want to get views, they want to be the person. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Nah, I, I'm, you know, like, I didn't start off, you know, doing the views, I, I, don't, I don't care. But at the same time, I'm not gonna lie and be like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't look at the views too. Like, you know, I'm like, listen, it's not about views. I'm not trying to knock the views. I'm telling you what the what the what I think the inspiration be off. God. My inspiration is off. I want the music to be good, the sound to be the best it could be. Right. And for you, it's about the music. For me, it's about the music and the culture first, always. Yeah, I want to get paid too, but I want niggas to wanna pay me. Right. I don't want to have to hustle niggas out of it. I don't want to have to make a scheme, a plan, write a thing down. And you know what I mean? I want the music to speak for itself. And niggas be like, yo, everything that you touch, my nigga, is something about it. Mm. Anything that you got to do with, I want my name to be good as far as the creativity. Mm. That's what people keep missing because they worried about everything else. Bro. I'm, the, I'm on that Kanye shit. I'm on that, I'm on that, that Dr. Dre shit, mostly. You know what I'm saying? It's lacking, my nigga. When niggas think you lacking, you really, you mastering, bro. You becoming a master at the things that you do. Right. And that's what it's about. That's what you're supposed to be focusing on, being great. That's how you be great. You don't be great by, by chasing external because you got to learn that everything is, 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 is counterproductive. The same thing that gets you there is going to pull you out of there. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I learned that last week. Mm. And that's with my attitude. My attitude got, got a bullet in my leg. Me, it's not, it wasn't the other person. Mm. It's me, bro. Like, you feel me? I don't blame that. It's not how so Campbell. It's not K Flocker and the, the Bronx Drill young niggas. It's not my music that I made that I said something about me. It's not, it's not none of that. I, you know, I, I'm getting <laughs> like flashback, like Hoffa said the same thing. It's like on ourselves. Like, it's on ourselves, bro. And yeah. Hoffa's fucking right for that. Right. right. That's what it's, it's us. We choose this shit. We all choosing this shit. That's why, you know what I mean? Mm. The young boys are choosing destruction. They choosing it, bro. Because that's the energy. Well, that's what they know. It's the energy, bro. You know what I'm saying? You can't knock the energy. That it's real. People don't want to face reality. They want to they wanna make comments from the bleachers without being on the ball court. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Where those passes and them shots is being took and the niggas is dunking. And, you know what I mean? It's different. It's a different ball game. You could, you could speak from the safety of the bleachers. You know what I'm saying? Or you could be a nigga like me that just got up off a hospital bed. Fresh off a hospital bed. Not not even condoning it because it's sad because I am too old for this shit. Right. It's true, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't lack, I don't, I don't, I don't knock what niggas say. It's just that they, they, they way ended up, they way my way ended up my way. I gotta play my cards to the best, best of my ability. Right. I can't worry about what niggas talk about. Niggas, one thing niggas know is that I ain't working. Right. And you know, one thing too, what people Say it too, like I I knew a pastor, right? And um and the pastor told me that it's a gift too to be around the young dudes and yeah. then, and they follow and they like fuck with you too. Like yeah. if the young dudes fuck with you, there's a reason behind all that. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like I people's like, yo, nah, nah, there's a reason why 
You know what I mean? The young dudes fuck with you and rock with you too and how you carry yourself and you know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, definitely. it's not no, like, I don't see it as no motherfucking like, yo, you're too old. Nah, like, but you know, you motherfuckers can't, you know, interact with the youth. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Some, you know what I mean, mean, it's not easy. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna, um, I'm not, you know, I, I always keep it on reality, bro. The shit is not easy, bro. Like, the young niggas are. And they don't want to hear that, you know They I mean? different, bro. Like, they don't want to hear that, yo, you know what I mean? Yo. Sharif, I, our, our our relationship is not even like that. It's it's right. it's more creative. I speak to them through create through the creation, bro. Dope. That's our communication. Dope. It's not on some yo. Don't do this. Don't do that. That right. that's over with. Right. You feel me? Right. That's over with, my nigga. It's energy now, and that's what people don't. A lot of people don't get that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's mm. energy, bro. Mm -hmm. It's not what it's not what's said. It's what's done. Mm. You know, people still st stuck in what niggas are saying, bro. That's why there's a lot of a lot of lack of success. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. If you want to get to the um the shit about the deals, and that's that's what the labels push. That's the shit that they you know what I mean? That's the shit that they stand behind. So they create I mean, you know, I'm not gonna blame it on the labels either. They're not solely the blame. Mm. You know what I'm saying? This it's it's, a, it's everybody play a part. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is that the mainstream create the culture. They 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 stagnate and stamp the culture. Once it becomes mainstream, that's the that's the object for all these young niggas. They wanted to, to become mainstream and get a bag. Right. That's what it is for them. Right. I I'm sure, I hope none of them is really just out here just you know what I'm saying? With the violence without trying to get a couple dollars and something that you have a God given talent to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. However niggas wanna look at it, you have that talent. They don't these these young niggas are not trash, bro. Yeah. They they music is better than a lot of niggas' music, homie, like and the money that they're getting is like, bro, them flows that, bro, my nigga, nah, bro. If you hating on Bronx Drill, bro, you just, and you not listening, you just a nigga that's, you just a nigga that's, to me, bro, you just a hater or either you just letting the negative shit around it keep you from tapping in, bro, because you feel like you too, you too old or you, you supposed to, your mind is telling you, you're not supposed to be into that right now. But I don't understand how you're going to try to help a bunch of kids that, that's the thing that they do, and you're not gonna try to understand that. Mm. If if you if you're real about helping these kids that obviously are the ones that need the help. Right. No, but you know, there's a lot, you know, when it comes to like they say drill rap and there's a lot of shooting and the people don't wanna Bro, like, listen, associate, you know, it's scary shit too. Bro, you listen, know? when you like don't think it like you know what I mean? Like when you these kids got beat, everybody got listen, beat. When you don't think that you, I'm like you know, like, yo, I want to, you know, that shit is something, you know, I got to be on point too. Like, bro, when you're 13, 14 years old in the hood, and in, in any hood, bro, that is the age that you're getting out there. You're having a hammer. You're probably seeing your first hammers. You're probably shooting your first hammers. That's regular in the hood. I'm telling you that. That's going to happen without Bronx Drill. Mm. That's, that was happening with any anything of music. Mm. Any when, any when any music was out, go back to all these years. Go back to 2012 when Chief Keef and them came out. My nigga, the violence doesn't go nowhere. People are creating the narrative around it is what I'm trying to tell you. Wow. People attach shit. This is how people think. It's the drama. Niggas love the drama, homie. The shit is the same. It doesn't change. The only thing that changes is the time, the sound. You feel me? But the, the, the game stays the same. Gang violence in L.A., Bloods and Crips in the 90s. Chicago, Bronx, you know what I mean? New Orleans, Detroit now, Baltimore now. Eric Kelly said like Bronx is like like the most poverty in like New York City. Like my nigga, listen, bro. Brody, like it's it's just real, bro. People gotta really, really gotta do your research and you really gotta just stop listening to what everything you see on the internet, everything somebody tell you. Right. You know what I'm saying? When niggas was like, yo, it might have been capped that that you got pop, and I show you my, my bullet wounds and shit. You feel me? Right. But what I'm saying is that fuck all of that. The fact that they even said that, my nigga, I was glad. You feel me? Because it shows me that at least somebody is thinking beyond the, you know what I'm saying? The initial, like, believe everything you hear from, you shouldn't believe everything you hear from the internet. You should question certain shit with, with anything. Right. I liked it that. I'm like, all right, niggas are still at least, somebody is still, now I'm straight, somebody is at least still, <clears throat> like, you know what I mean? Doing some type of due diligence. Because niggas believe anything, bro. Mm -hmm. And it's sad. You could get people hurt off of some shit that never happened. Yo. Because people are easily persuaded. If you go at them with a certain energy, they'll believe anything. 
The media knows it. They have their tactics. You know what I mean? Record labels know it's, it's called marketing, bro. That's what marketing <coughs> is. That's what marketing is. It's mm. so business. It's not, it, I'm not saying anything that's just, you know what I'm saying, out of this world. It's just regular shit, bro. Right, right. No, I know exactly. What <laughs> you know, it's regular shit, bro. I'm not trying to make it nothing more than what it really is. I'm trying to simplize it. Like it's really more simple than y'all niggas are caught causing everything to be. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? So, so what you got going on right now? You know? Um, I'm working on I'm working on Black History Month right now, and I'm trying to figure Black out Black History Month. Yeah, that's the name of my next project, okay. Black History Month. Wow. It's been set for February, but I'm fucking. <coughs> right now, I might just put that shit out. Two, three weeks. What? I might push it up. You got you got a lot of like music and shit? I got it, yo bro. I got a lot of shit, bro. And I'm about to I'm about to really show niggas like the difference, bro. Like, you feel me? I'ma show everybody the difference because I have I have I'm I'm in so many loops. I'm hearing so I'm inspired by so many different things that I'm just putting it together, bro. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I tell people all the time I'm not a drill rapper. You know what I mean? I just I'm just a part of the culture. You know what I'm saying? But that's that's the young niggas' culture. That is they shit. That's not my shit. Mm. You know what I mean? That's they shit. I'm just in tune with it. Mm. I got my own shit. You know what I mean? Mm. I got ECB. I got East Coast Bounce music. You know what I mean? I got Gang Bang Metal. I got a lot of different... Bro, I'm more... When, when, you, when you think it's... When you think one thing, I'm already two steps ahead of niggas, right. bro. You feel me? Right. And this is being be independent. No label. No none of that. No, no none of that shit, my nigga. Like... I really think they be looking at me like, yo, this nigga's trying to, <laughs> you feel me? Like, cause I be really like, there's a lot of stuff I was behind that people don't even know about mm -hmm. within the last couple of years. You know what I mean? Projects and so on. And I wanted to stay like that. I'm not here for that, bro. I'm here to, I'm here to make a difference. I'm here to restore that feeling. Like, I want people to feel for the music again. Like, I don't, I don't be feeling like niggas is really into the music. Niggas is into what's around the music more to me. I'm trying to make niggas be into the music. Back in the music, like, oh shit, the music is fire. Fuck a nigga got shot, this person went to jail, all that. That's what the music is right now. Who fucked who? Who's this one, that one? It's not, that's that's why you got all the negative shit because people are not on the artistic, they not on it, bro. They not on the artistic, everything is loose. The, a lot of the music is hot, but a lot of the shit could be represented better right. with a better budget. With a better visual, with a better look, press the, you know what I mean? It's too, it's too like it's it's good for shit to be raw, but when it start going crazy, bro, start stepping it up. You know what I mean? It's next levels to this shit. This is not the final level of this Bronx drill shit. It's just the beginning. This is the just the bottom, bottom tier right now. Right. You know what I mean? It's the bottom tier of it, bro. We right. we still didn't get the we still didn't get the chick yet. We didn't get the girl yet. Mm. We didn't get the, we don't even got the girl yet. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Cardi. Cardi's that we gotta see what Cardi do. Cardi got a chance to jump in there, but you know her last album was four years ago. Damn, what? 2018. What? You feel me? Yeah. Not taking nothing away from Cardi. Cardi been working, but I'm saying like, for Cardi to really get back in there, she could do it. She yeah. gotta get in tune with Bronx Drill though. <laughs> you feel me? She could do it. I think she's in tune. I, no, I, I mean, I haven't heard Cardi on this real record. I'm waiting for it. I hope I could be a part of it. I hope I could be a part of it, because that's going to be something. We still didn't get that yet. Still, we still in the beginning stages, bro. We still in the beginning stages. Relax for a minute. Tell everybody to chill. Right. <laughs> we just getting started. Right. We're going to get out of the violence. We're going to get out of that shit, my nigga. This shit is going to be great, bro. Right. We in the beginning, relax. Everybody just chill for a minute. Whoa. I'm here, my nigga. I'm on the court. I'm on the ball court. Yeah. They try to take me off the court. Yeah. I might even like, get, off, get off the court again, but I'll be back on the court, my nigga. Man. You feel me? So That's just fine. just everybody gotta just be patient. Focus on the craft, man. That's my thing. If you if you ask me what anything that I would say to the young boys, focus on the craft. Focus on whatever it is that you're doing that makes you great, bro. It don't gotta be music. It don't gotta be bronze drill. It could be whatever. Mm -hmm. But you gotta stick to that. The thing that's gonna make you great, put the energy into that. Right. Fuck the ops. Fuck what niggas is doing. Put the energy into what you're doing. Right. That's it, my nigga. You feel me? But it, but again, still not knocking what nobody do. You gotta do. You gotta do. When you on the court, you on the court, my nigga. You can't determine the game. You know what I'm saying? Everybody just trying to get off the court, man. And you know what I mean? And be, you know what I mean? Be, 
watching and you want to be your, get your Phil Jackson on. I'm in my Phil Jackson stages right now. But I can still ball. Mm. Still nice. Mm. <laughs> I'm mm. still nice on the court. Yeah. And that's why niggas be tight. But I ain't even... I don't care. I'm, I'm Shepard, my nigga. They put me in. They put me in whatever it's that I be. I'm the Trojan horse, my nigga. Put me in when shit is like we losing the game and you know you need the game back. I come back and shoot like 63s and they're going to sit down again. That's where I'm at right now. Yeah. Fine. Feel me? Yeah. Like, feel me? I'm Phil Jackson, bro, so. And, you know, this is from the soul, right? So, like, you know. That's why I fuck with it. Nah, you're looking. That's why and I fuck with I it. I see you rocking, you know, Jordans. Like, yeah, bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. These little. I seen B Love with these shits first. That was the first nigga I seen with these. Yeah. He had these shits before the frenzy and right. before all that shit. Because I seen him on a nigga feet. I was like, this nigga. People going crazy for these right now, still. Still, yo. Yeah. Like, what, what was your sneakers coming up? What was your favorite sneakers coming up and shit? I wasn't, yo, bro, I wasn't really into that. I just, what? I bought. Homie, I was hustling, man. I was doing my thing, my nigga. I was, you, you, I was a drug dealer. I was buying whatever came out. Mine. Give a fuck about what Jordan's with. If it came out and I fucked with it, I fucked with it. Like, I'm not a sneaker connoisseur. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'll see the young... Now I see the young niggas. That's how I, I give my shit from what they doing. Right. If I see them with something, I know that it's lit. Right. You know what I mean? Right. All right, I'm, I'm going to grab those. Right. Like I said, I seen B-Love with these shits. I'm like, yo, I'm going to get those. But when he had them, I couldn't get them. You know what I mean? I just... I guess they did something else. Shits came out again, you know what I mean? I had pre-ordered, whatever. Everybody, my dog, everybody in the crib got them shits, got these shits, bro. Right, you feel right. me? And you know, this, ah. Just, yeah, because they told me, they said, yo, every time, and yo, listen, right. that right there, bro, that right there alone, right. that's business, bro. Yeah. That's when you, that's when you on top of your shit, my nigga, I'm going to give a nigga a pair of sneakers every time I do a fucking interview. Come on, bro. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, yeah, Brody. What? Yeah. What? I fucks with it. Yo, shout out to my boys in VA, man. Stand, yo, they pulled through for the trendy vibes, boy. What? Trendy vibes, homie. You know Jordan 1s with the 3M? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate you, though, Brody. Nah. Yeah. Right. Thank you, brother. And, not from, and, and going further, I just respect the... I respect the business shit, bro. Like, nah, you know, me, like, nah, it's not even business. It's, it's not. It's, uh, like I said, it's from the soul, man. Yeah. And, um, I, like I said, I, I'm a big sneakerhead, and you know, like, I do it to, like, you know, whoever I fuck with for real. And you know what I'm saying? So, just, you know what I mean? Just like, yeah. keep doing your thing, brother. And you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's dope that you could be in touch with the youth. Like, I feel like, yo, that's fire. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I think you got like a dope gift and with Hassan backing you up, I think too. That's dope. Yeah, shout out to Hassan Campbell too. Real shit. Always, always. You know always, what I'm saying? Bro. So, yeah. like, you know what I mean? Just keep doing your thing and I appreciate everything, bro. Yeah, thanks for the interview, man. I nah, appreciate thank you, man. you. From the soul, bro. Hell yeah, from the soul, man. Bye, God. Third time. Huh?